Hello everybody, Brent Cammett here with P3 Propane Safety. I wanted to give a quick tech tip on filling DOT portable cylinders. As we come into the busy growing season, dispensers and pump stations are going to be very busy filling those containers. So here's some tips and tricks to look for. First, OPD valves. They've been required since April 1st of 2002 on all portable cylinders from 4 to 40 pounds with some exceptions. Here's an example of some OPD valves, a couple different styles for you to be aware of and the internal workings of them. Make sure you give a good inspection of the face seal for roping, gouging, cracking, etc. Here is a good example of a 20 pound portable cylinder. Uh, it is imperative that you remove the plastic sleeve. As you can see, this one is a good example of excessive rust uh, and pitting that was hidden by the sleeve. So make sure you do a proper inspection on that. All portable DOT cylinders are good for 12 years from manufacture date. You can see this one here is from January of 02. It has also had a visual requalification June of 2018, which is what you're looking for there. It must have a good working order collar to protect the valve and of course some type of plug or cap on the end. Before leaving your facility, please make sure that all portable cylinders have a dust cap, a proper shipping label, and of course a decal warning the customer of the hazards of propane. Here's an example of a motor fuel cylinder cutaway so you can get an idea of what that looks like in the internal workings. 100 pound cylinders, please make sure you inspect the foot ring on this and all cylinders and give a good look at the bottom. Make sure that there's no excessive rust, pitting or gouging on these cylinders and all cylinders. And last but certainly not least, please make sure all your folks have proper PPE uh, to start with a good set of liquid gloves. Uh, of course, eye protection or safety glasses, as you see here. And additionally, a face shield is never a bad idea when transferring liquid. Thank you, folks. I hope this keeps you safe. Maybe you can use this video at your next safety meeting. Be safe out there and have a great day.